Hello everyone, welcome to the ornament tutorial video. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make the Heart House 2020 and a snowman and Santa all out of driftwood. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that you can make all three different designs or you can choose your favorite and make three of those and mix it up. I do have an example here of a little neighborhood of houses we made out of driftwood um, and that would be really cute too. So let's get started. I'm going to adjust my camera so that you can see I've got all my paint, I've got water um, to clean my brushes, and I've got my paint rag. I've been painting already today, and um, so you can tell these have been used. I'm going to take, so with our, for time's sake, what I did, let's start with Santa, because if you're gonna do all three, you can actually start the first step for all three. And what I did is I just took my piece of driftwood and I decided which way I wanted the hat and the beard to go. And I just liked how this drooped down and how this had a little end that came up. So I made that the Santa's pom-pom. Then I colored the rest red, left a space for his face and then colored his beard or painted his beard, I should say. And I let that dry. Um, now for the snowman, I did the same thing. I looked, cause as you can see, I could have used this one as Santa's beard too. I could have turned it and done it that way too. It's going to totally be up to you. But for this one, I decided this would be my snowman. I painted the top half black, the bottom half white, and I've let it dry completely. That is so important when we're going to be adding our details on top that the paint is dry underneath. Now for my um, heart home, I've done the same thing. I've done the roof and a base and that one is drying. So we're going to start with the snowman. I'm gonna take my snowman ornament, and now that it's dry, I'm gonna take my little brush. I'm gonna dab it into um, some black, and I'm just gonna dot on two eyes. I'm gonna give him a little mouth, and when I do that, I like to do a dot in the middle, and then I like to work my dots up so that it kind of feels centered. Now you don't have orange in your kit, but what you do have is you have red and yellow. And when you mix those together, you get an orange color. And the more red you add, the darker it'll be. And the more yellow you add, the lighter it'll be. So I just stuck with this um, tangerine color I got. I really like this color. It's not like a traditional orange, but when I was mixing, I thought it just looked really pretty. And I'm just gonna dab his carrot nose. Oh, and I forgot the button. So usually when you're painting with a color, you wanna paint all the things that you need to that color. But if you forget, just wash your brush off that's why I kind of like it when that happens so that we can talk about it. Because when you come to class, we do that. And I'm just going to dab three buttons on. Now I've got this big space in the middle and that's great because uh, in your kit, you also have uh, an assortment of ribbon. Um, the ribbon has been used to tie things together in the kit and now can be reused to work as a scarf. So I'm going to tie this around his neck and tie it into a knot and then it's just going to kind of drape down and you can even cut it 
to make it sort of fit your style. And then I've got another little piece now and I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna glue gun this. The only um, thing that doesn't come in the kit is glue. And so you do need a glue gun. I'm gonna put a little dab on here. You're probably gonna need your parents' help for this part. This is actually the, the tricky part. You don't wanna burn, but I'm just gonna kinda glue that together. And then I'm gonna glue it onto the back of my snowman. And then he's got a little hanger on him and he's ready to hang on the tree. He looks so cute. Now the other thing you can do, because this guy on, let's see, where's my other little snowman? I've got a little snowman like this. He actually has his scarf painted on. And what I did for that is I just took my brush and I just went straight across and straight down. And then I did a couple little dabs at the bottom um, for tassels. And he looks really cute too. You have um, in your kit, you also have a whole bunch of markers if you bought the winter box. And you can actually go over top of the paint with your markers if you'd rather do that than paint as well. So there's our little snowman. He's pretty easy to complete. So a good one to do with toddlers or um, especially with your older kids because they could do more detail if they wanted to paint their scarf in. There's just so many little extras that they could put on. Now let's look at our heart home. So I've got my base and what I want to do is I want to put a, a little border in. I like doing a line. For this one though, I'm going to use black and I'm going to just wipe my brush off. I'm going to dab this and I'm just going to work it all the way across and kind of cleans it up a bit, makes it look really sharp. And then I'm going to clean my brush off again. And what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to put a door and some windows on, but I also want to put a little circle here. I really like how um, on these homes, I really like the look of a circle with a little heart in it because as we all know with COVID, there was hearts in the window and we couldn't see our family and friends and I took my kids and we went on like little scavenger hunts looking for the hearts. And some people did such a good job. I mean, everybody did a good job, but some people had like so many hearts and it was so neat to just drive around and know that everyone was kind of going through the same thing and how the heart just kind of made us feel a little bit more connected. So I'm gonna leave that and let it dry a bit. Um, if I were you, I would let it dry completely, but for the video sake, I'll probably just layer it on top for you. And then now what I want to do is I want to take, um, I've got a little bit of black already on this lid. I'm going to add some white to it. You've got um, six primary colors and they're the colors that you can use to mix to make other colors. And so I'm going to make a gray. I want to make like a gray door for this house. And since I don't have gray, I'm going to add white to my black. And I'm just going to go down here and make it like a rectangle and come straight down. And then you just keep painting and working it until you feel happy with the outcome. I'm going to 
top it off at the top, a little bit of a curve, but I think that looks really nice. And then I'm going to show you how to do these dots to make windows. There's lots of different windows that you can do. Um, you could just put some yellow to make it look like there's lights on in there, make some yellow squares. You could also, this is from our Christmas house. You could top the top and bottom with a black line to finish it off. And um, then the ones I'm gonna show you are these little black dots that make it look like a window. So you do four for each. So I'm going to dab my brush. I'm going to start on the side so that I can get my spacing. And I'm just going to dab just like that. And then I'm going to come beside and do it again. And then I want to come on the side first just to line it up. And then there, and there. And see, it's just really coming together. And I can see that I have room for some more down here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come down just a touch and do the same thing. Dab this one a little bit more. And give it a dab. And then right here, right here. And there we go, there's um, some cute little windows. And I could also, I really, if you've come to class, you know I love outlining in black. And I'm gonna do that around the door too. I'm gonna see what that looks like. It just looks to me like it needs a little something here to finish it off. Now you can see mine's kind of smearing because the black will mix with the gray but just be careful. If you let yours dry all the way, it won't do that. And even that doesn't look too bad. So now this needs a little handle. And all that black is just kind of tying everything together. I actually think that this would look good if I, and I'm gonna dab it all the way around cause it's kind of, it's still really wet. And that's why you really wanna um, you really want it to dry, but I want to just give you guys a visual and you don't want to wait with me while we let it dry. You want to pause it and you want to go do something and be ready for the next step. So I'm just going to do that. And then with these homes, I've liked giving them the address 2020 because it shows the year that you made it. And I think 2020 is just one of those years that we're never gonna forget. And you take that orange from the snowman and I'm just gonna make a little address bar. So you can see on this one, I just did a yellow one. And I also did a little, whoops, a little wreath that turned out really cute. And I just dabbed green all the way around, which I could do on this one too. Um, but okay, let's do a little address bar. And all I'm gonna do for my address bar is I'm just gonna make the paint come across like this. And I really like how that turned out actually. Now, some of you might also um, want to use your markers when you're writing the address 2020. So I'm going to let that dry. Um, but you can see on this one, I took my marker and just printed 2020 with it. And for the last little bit of this house, I'm going to show you how to do a heart. If you've watched some of the other videos, we practice this. And all it is, is a line down and a line back 
up, kind of like a V. And it just makes a cute little heart at the top of the house. And then you would glue your ribbon the same way that you did for the snowman. And there's my little snowman guy to make that you can hang it on the tree. And if you decide that you don't want to use, like maybe you didn't want to do a Santa, you could do a Christmas tree and attach it and make an ornament like this. There's a lot of different options. Maybe you want to make a snowman and do a whole little mini Christmas scene using your different um, pieces. But if you want to do all three, we're now going to make this snowman. So I painted his beard, his hat topper, and his hat. And I left this because this is, I find that this is the tricky part, his um, face. And so what I wanna show you with that is I'm just gonna make this go a little bit closer. I'm gonna take my markers. I'm gonna take the black one out. And as you can see on this one, it's like light, it's not super dark. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do two eyebrows. Whoops. And then I'm gonna do his nose. His nose comes down two lines like that. And then you come around in a circle like this. And I'm gonna do his mustache. So I just kind of did it. It's almost like it really reminds me of like some clouds coming all the way around. Another little thing right there. And then his eyes are just two circles, just like that. And then what I did is I took my white because I need to give him um, some fluff on his hat and then down the sides and in his beard. So I'm gonna take that small brush again make sure it's really clean and dab it in my white and all I did is I just kind of like dabbed from his beard all the way up to his hat and then I did the same along here and you can see that makes a big difference getting that white at the top and I'm gonna do the same coming up. Now don't worry if you go over like I just did um, because this is just kind of like a little guide for you to dab inside. And then what I did when this was completely dry is um, I just went back over top with my marker and I just made you can even bring his beard up a bit if you find that it's too low in spots. But then I just took the black again and went over top. So I think he's really cute. Um, he kind of looks a little mad, but you can make his eyes however you want. And then I just did the same thing and I put um, a little ribbon together. I pinched it with the glue and attached it and then he's ready for the tree. So those are your three ornaments, the Santa, the snowman, and the Heart House 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing what you create.